This is one of those tricky little games because you've got Valladolid hosting Sevilla. Valladolid at plus 125, normally score goals in the first half uh, and then throw it away second half. And you've got Sevilla in the middle of two semi-finals in the Europa League uh, against Juventus. But the first one being on the road. So depending on what goes on there, you're almost 100% sure that they're not going to be bothered about what goes on at Valladolid because they're going from Turin to Valladolid and then obviously they're going to be uh, hosting Juve next Thursday. The draw is at plus 255. Pavlos, you love Valladolid, okay? Normally it's something to do with first half. Are you still staying on that train? Yes, yes. I, I mean, I'm not going to... There, is, there isn't one team in the La Liga that's going to put me off from betting Valladolid. Uh, on whatever spread they are in the first half, as long as as long as it's pick 'em or plus and plus a quarter goal, plus a half goal, I'm gonna take Valladolid. I'm gonna ride it till the wheels fall off, especially against the Sevilla side that, as you said, are in between their Europa League uh, matches. So um, who cares about what happens in Valladolid? Of course they care because they might even get a European ticket. The Sevilla side they went from being relegation, you know, candidate candidates to actually fighting uh, for a ticket to the Conference League for next season. So uh, I don't think that Sevilla are going to be totally indifferent in this match. But the way that this bet has been paying us, worst case scenario is a push. So uh, I believe that Valladolid, uh, of course, keep in mind that Valladolid are actually fighting um, for their lives right now. So they need the points. They, um, they're sitting just uh, one point above the relegation zone. So they want to get this done easily. They want to get this done fast. They want to get, um, you know... Uh, uh, a goal in the first half and then probably sit on it. So, uh, yeah, I think this is the tricky match. But uh, in the first half, uh, I think, we, we, you know, um, Valladolid are not going to be losing. So this is one of our favorite bets this season. Um, they've only lost uh, two, I believe, uh, first halves so far. Um, five wins, nine draws. So, yeah, count me in for that. Yeah, I'm just wondering how much, Roman, that the uh, numbers have actually been calculated in. Because when, if you was asking me, I'd go Valladolid at plus 165. Uh, Sevilla, maybe plus 185. So I think that they've already put in the chances of a home win. But if you went with Valladolid, maybe to win the first half or even draw the first half because I don't see Sevilla coming from Turin and then having a pop at Valladolid first up. I think if Sevilla are going to have to keep it tight, I think it is a draw half-time, worst-case scenario for Pavlos. Do you give Sevilla much of a chance or do you see it being a really tight game? Like an under two and a half at minus 115. Do we see three goals? Well, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, with, with Valladolid, we've seen that uh, we can uh, see uh, many goals with, since the new manager came on. They have been scoring a lot. And Sevilla also with the new manager have improved a lot. I mean, I've really been liking them since uh, Mendy Libar took charge. It's a completely different Sevilla. He's really making use of that a pretty deep squad Sevilla have because, I mean, we all know that they shouldn't have been down the bottom in the first place. They have so much more quality to do uh, much better. And it's true that there's that game against Juventus, uh, we don't know what's going to happen as we speak, but of course it's going to, you know, important players are going to probably start because now Sevilla are in a more comfortable position in the league, even though it's true that they're fighting uh, for that conference league spot. And it's also true that they're not completely saved from, from relegation. Anything could happen, although it seems very unlikely that now they can drop down, even though they might have that fear in them. If suddenly they lose against Valladolid and then they lose the next game, uh, they might go again through that uh, panic they've been going through most of the season. But hopefully, and I, and I don't think that's going to happen in any case because, uh, as I said, there's been a big improvement from Sevilla. It won't be an easy game. I won't. They won't come into to Pucela and Cruz and win three 0 or anything like that. But I do think they have a chance. You know, uh, Sevilla are a strong side. They have enough players, I think, to do well against Valladolid, even if uh, a lot of starters uh, play against Juventus. So we'll see what happens. But I, I I'm going to trust Sevilla in this. Are you? You're going to trust Sevilla in the middle of two <laughs> semi-finals away at Valladolid. OK, um, let's have a little look at the official picks then, because I tell you what, I wouldn't go anywhere near that away side other than uh, them contributing nothing. So in other words, I'd go with the under two and a half goals at minus 115. But as you can see, I'm talking hot air because I've got Valladolid first half. Pick them or draw no bet at minus 140. I've got Sevilla, draw no bet at plus 130. So Valladolid 1-0 up at half time. Sevilla win 2-1. Both my boys are happy. 